All right, guys, welcome back. Right, in today's video, I want to strip this car down a little bit more. So I want to take the wings off, take the bumper off, maybe the bonnet, assess the situation, see if it needs any other parts, and we'll go from there. So that's the plan. Right, I've never removed the wing from one of these cars before, and if I'm honest, I've never really worked on one of these before. So this is going to be a bit of a learning curve for me, and maybe for you guys too. So obvious stuff, there's some bolts across the top. So I'm going to take them out. I love this. So this is the bonnet bump stop. Good old Aston Martin. Proper made in the shed stuff, this. Literally a bit. M6 bolt with a, obviously a 10mm head, 8mm head on this, and then just a rubber cap on top. I mean, it works, doesn't it? But it does make you laugh a little bit. Aston Martin bump stop. Beautiful. Now, I know this bit of trim here has to come off. I don't know how it comes off. I'm using a plastic tool because I don't want to damage the bit. That just comes off like that. As you can see, got a bit of damage. Nothing I'm worried about though. That kind of covers that up. Now I've got some Phillips screws. There's a screw head here, but it's already been broken. So there we have it, that is the wing off. So there's literally two screws here, there's a screw here, screw across the top. Obviously there should be screws here, but this is broken. But that's that. Allows me to see a little bit more anyway. Right, you can hopefully see that this is all bent. It's all been pushed back. It's made a bit of a mess of it, but I'm hoping I can pull this out, straighten everything up, make it look nice again. Headlights obviously seen better days. So I need to try and remove that and go from there. I will say though, from what I've seen of the, in the wing, I'm really pleased. There's a little bit of surface rust here and there, but nothing serious. It all looks really straight. I can't see any creases or any kind of damage. Other than this headlight panel, which is hopefully a fairly easy fix, it all looks really good. So I'm quite confident I can sort this. So I'm just trying the pattern wing for fitment, and obviously so far it fits terribly, which is just what I expected. Yeah, good start. Good old Aston Martin. They're actually using nuts and bolts to secure their panels. You can tell this is British built, put it like that. Oh dear. British bolts that don't want to come undone. I call British vehicles, but it's only because I'm British. I do quite like them really. I also quite like German cars. They're a lot better. Oh, there we go. Broke a stud. Or a bolt, shall I say. As you can see, this is clearly out. Because that does not want to go where it needs to. And I don't, as much as I'm mocking this wing, I don't think it's that bad a fit. I think the whole thing's pushed back. So we need to investigate further. Right, the wing's back off now. Now, this car confuses me quite a bit. So, the headlight, the only way I can see to remove it is by removing this bolt here, which is right under here. You can barely get to it. And there's one here. But how do you do that with the headlight in? Because you can't get to it. So you must have to take the inner wing out. But then I'm looking, thinking, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Just, like, if you undo the, this nut here, yeah, you'll get it out, but you have to take the wing off. And I'm, I'm just not sure. This doesn't make any sense. And, he, and then you still can't get to the back nut. So there's one nut there, there's one nut here. There's no holes underneath to get to. This doesn't make any sense. Seems a poor design, in my opinion. Very poor design. Anyway, I'm going to battle on. So yeah, this bolt here, you can barely see it. Just under here, I'm going to try and get that out. The front one looks even harder to get to. But again, I'm going to try and get it out. Oh, actually, the front one's got an inspection hole. Just pulled the grommet out. So the front one's not, not bad to get to. It's just this rear one, which is a little bit hard. You can just see it there. 
So I'm going to use a spanner and then a socket on the front and that headlight should come out, hopefully. So the front one is located under here. There's a little rubber grommet, which is here. I've just removed it and I should be able to get this in. And there we have it. That's the front bolt released. Now, if only I can do the rear one that easy. And there we go. Beautiful. So now you can see some of the damage. This has obviously been pushed up by the looks of things. It's creased here, it's creased there. This is slightly creased, that's creased. This is folded in. So it's not too bad. One thing I'm really impressed about is how thick the metal is. It's proper solid. Like, not like your Voxel Astra stuff, you know. It's proper well built in that sense. I mean, I know it's English and I keep making a joke that it was made in a shed. But it was. Um, but what they had done, you know, it's good quality. Like, this headlight bracket here, it's like proper thick. It's not 2 mil, but it's not far off. It's at least 1.6 mil, which is, you know, you'd never see on a normal normal car. So I'm impressed. Just means my job's going to be harder to straighten it. Right, bumper needs to come off now. Obviously, I need to take the inner arch out the other side. And maybe the wing out. Not sure yet. Um, but yeah, the bumper definitely needs to come off. So I'm going to do that off camera because it's basically the same process as this side. Right, there's not a lot of room here, but I've just discovered if you remove the fog light, you can get to these screws a lot easier. So I've taken the inner wing out on the near side. Um, that's when I discovered this. So I'm just going to show you how to do that now because that side's very tight for camera. So you've basically got three Phillips screws under here somewhere. It's just twist out. There's actually four cutouts in the light, but one's an adjuster to adjust the angle of the fog light. Like I said, there's not a lot of room here, so it's a little bit difficult. But I'm blessed with a garage. I shouldn't complain. Could be a lot worse off. I just didn't realise Aston Martins were so bloody long. I think the captive nuts spinning in the bumper on this side it doesn't appear to be coming out. Yeah, it is. So you see the captive nuts come out with that. Hopefully you can see it. But there we go. It's quite easy. And that allows much better access through there. So I've unscrewed all the retaining screws which hold the wing to the bumper. A lot harder on this side, if I'm honest, because you can't really get to them very easily. Airbox is in the way. Everything just is in the way. It's a little bit tight. But I think the only thing that's holding the bumper on now is these 8mm screws across here. So I'm going to take them off, and hopefully, fingers crossed, the bumper's going to come off. Again, because it's British, you can't get a socket in here, because there's an oil cooler in the way. Good old British engineering, eh? So I'm using a trusty ratchet spanner. So guys, as you can see, the bumper's off, the wing's off, headlights out, bumper bar's out, which should have come off with the bumper, but that's another story. So we're kind of stripped now. Um, I may need to take the bonnet off, but at the minute it looks okay. So I think I'm going to wrap the video up there. Um, I think you've seen enough for today. My plan is going forward, I'm going to plastic weld this bumper. So if that's the kind of thing you want to see, please remember to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, please like and leave a comment. I'll see you all next week, guys. Take care. Ciao.